I posted his um, picture on the Fort Hood yard sale page to see if anyone recognized him or anything. And someone told me to make a post on the Lost Dogs of Texas. And I did, and I, it's where they, you basically fill out information and they turn it into a poster. And I didn't actually think anything would come of it other than just posting his picture on a website and someone could go look at it. But um, I was actually contacted by two different oh, yeah. people who work for them. I'm not sure if they're volunteers or not. And they actually investigate. They, she said she can trace the number even if no one's using it and find out who did use it when it existed. And um, just asked all his information to see if they can find his owner or where to put the flyers to get hopefully to the owner. So it's pretty cool. I mean, my work is basically just to give them the info and just to help. I mean, they really do investigative work. Uh, the only thing I'm doing is today, hopefully, if my husband ever wakes up, um, <laughs> we're going to take him to see if he has a microchip, which was already done by the other woman who found him. But I was told by the people who work for the Lost Dogs of Texas that sometimes uh, they don't read every chip. Like if a certain company reader or scanner can't read other companies' chips. So we're going to go and check it again, and I think we're going to go to PetSmart and see if we can find it. But other than that, there's nothing I can do other than post this picture all over the place and hope someone finds him, recognizes him. <laughs>